Now, another way to create a parameter context I've demonstrated in that short intro is by having the process group imported or saved into a versioning uh, tool such as NIFI registry. Save or start versioning control on a processing group uh, when your NIFI instance is connected to a NIFI registry. All you have to do is click right and go to version and say start version control. Select the bucket you want to have it and give the flow name. In this case, we're going to keep the name as the flow name description and also version comments if you wish. Go ahead and clean all the resources we have in this processing group. Also, let's go to the parameter context and get rid of both parameter contexts. Right, so right now we don't have any reference of the parameter context or the process group created, but we have them saved into our NIFI registry. So let's go ahead and drag on a canvas a process group. And here we're going to choose the import from registry option. Select the, process, the flow name that you saved previously and the version you want to restore it or import it to, and then click import. All right, now we can see that the process group got imported successfully, and we see that it's a, the current version that we have it in our registry. If we click on it and we go to configure, we can see that the process group has a parameter context, right? Uh, let's click here, and we can also see that the action of importing a process group from the registry also creates the parameter context for us. But one thing about the importing from knife uh, from NIFI registry is that the sensitive properties are not carried over carried over through the NIFI register. So keep that in mind. And the way we could see how um, let's say the um, parameter context is saved is by navigating to the NIFI registry. Let's refresh this one here. And if we look at the process uh, or the flow that we have here, uh, which we use for uh, rest restore, uh, you click on the action here and you can say export version. Uh, you choose the version you want to export, export. Now, this will export uh, a JSON file. Let's open this, uh, this JSON file. And the way we could see how, um, let's say, the um, parameter context is saved is by navigating to the NIFI registry. Let's refresh this one here. And if we look at the process uh, or the flow that we have here, uh, which we use for uh, rest restore, uh, you click on the action here and you can say export version. Uh, you choose the version you want to. Export, export. Now, this will export uh, a JSON file. Let's open this, uh, this JSON file. If we navigate to the bottom of this file, there is a section here called parameter context. And basically, it exports the used parameter context at the time of um, having the version created in NIFI registry. So if we would have had a true uh, sensitive property, this will be coming, this will come empty. And when you re-import it into a new instance of NIFI, that, that property will be empty. Right, so we saw how NIFI registry can help us to save our NIFI flows along with the parameter context and then take advantage of the registry capability when we restore a process group to have the components there with some gotchas. In the next tutorial, we're going to go over programmatic ways to create, update, delete, and interact with parameter context.